post chewing how does the food pass through this gastrointestinal tract which we now know it is known as the esophagus so we intake food through our mouth and then it passes through the esophagus and gets stored in the stomach so is this passage of food caused due to the gravitational force because we know that gravitational pull always act downwards that is it pulls an object in the downward direction so if you think that gravitational force is responsible for the passage of food from the mouth to the stomach then what happens when a person is vomiting then food is coming upwards in an opposite direction from the stomach to the mouth so it cannot be gravitational force that is causing this passage of food from the mouth to the stomach or from the stomach to the mouth so what happens is that there is alternate contraction and relaxation of the muscles that are formed that form the esophagus so the esophagus consists of muscles alternate contraction and relaxation of which facilitates the passage of food now notice this portion above the food bolus this part is contracting and see the portion below the food bolus is relaxing this upper muscular contraction pushes the food bolus downwards now notice in the very next phase this part which was under the food bolus is now above the food bolus and is contracting now this contraction is also forcing the food bolus downwards but notice this part which was earlier contracting is now relaxing so we see that there is relaxation before and after contraction of muscles so this alternative contraction and relaxation of muscles that goes on continuously in the digestive tract and pushes the food downwards is known as peristalsis so this alternate contraction and relaxation of muscles take place in the entire digestive system and that facilitates the movement of the food particle now during vomiting what happens is food is coming from the stomach to the mouth so alternate contraction and relaxation of the muscles of the esophagus but in the opposite direction that is from downwards to upwards causes the passage of food from the stomach to the mouth and this process of passage of food from the stomach to the mouth is known as antiperistalsis that is it is the opposite of peristalsis